Hi everyone, thanks for joining me again. This video today is going to be the result of a lot of support questions that I received, specifically about how to properly do sandwich mode, both on the R series and also on the Latex 2700. Both of those are available for sandwich mode. Uh, if you have a, a Latex 700 or 800, the smaller roll-to-roll -roll machines, it does work differently for those for those printers, but specific to the larger uh, white capable latex printers. This is this is how you do it. So let's let's get right into it, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so I have uh, a file open in. Actually, I'm in the job editor right now. Um, the 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 instinct here, right, is to come over here to my print mode and choose one of these sandwich lip modes here. Right, sandwich three layer, sandwich five layer. The problem with that is I can't actually print. Uh, Onyx will rip it just fine, but when I print it over to the, uh, when I send it over to the printer, it won't actually get there. It, it'll error out. Uh, the same will go with Caldera, although I'm hearing now that maybe there's a driver update for Caldera. What I can tell you is what I'm going to show you works every single time regardless of what rip you have and regardless of whether you're on the R series or the Latex 2700. And I can't speak to any other methods that might be out there. 60% of the time, it works every time. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rip this job as either an over flood or an under flood. It doesn't really matter. Um, I guess theoretically I could even do spot. But what I want to do is I want to be able to send the color information and the white information. So what I can do now is I can come over here and choose like a white over flood, white 160. That's 120% density uh, for the color. And I can go ahead and send that to my queue. Now, just for fun, I also have the same image that's a little bit of a sunset look. Uh, and the reason I would do that is if I actually want to do like a, a color changing type uh, uh, piece of art, right? Where when it's illuminated during the day, it would be that daytime scene that you just saw. And when it's illuminated at night, it, it will be uh, more of a, a sunset looking image. And I'll, I'll show you, I'll show you on the IPS, right on the printer, actually how to change that. So I have these files, uh, they're ripping right now. Okay, uh, this one is ready to go, right? <laughs> but I forgot to do one important thing. Let's go back into the job editor. I forgot these files don't actually contain white information. So let me add white really fast to both of these, and uh, and then we'll get uh, we'll get going. All right, back in the job editor really fast. So I'm going to go to color correction, go to my tools and my spot layer tool. And in this case, I just want a full flood of white. So I'm just going to do flood fill. There we go. And now I can submit that job and I can do the same with the other as well. All right, come over to color correction, spot layer, spot layer generation and flood fill and send it. All right, my first image is already ready to print. I can go ahead and hit print now. I'm not physically hooked up to a printer, so I have to I have to go to a different uh, box for that, but I would hit print now. Uh, once this comes over, I would hit print now as well, and I will join you when I'm connected to my printer. Oh, I don't wanna do that. Uh, I definitely wanna make sure in this particular case that I print the jobs individually. There we go. I don't want them side by side because of what's going to happen a little later on. So let's pick this up uh, once I'm connected to the printer's IPS and I'll show you what happens from there. Okay, so I'm at the IPS and I have these files here. So let me double click on one of these and show you what's going on. So I have my white information, which you see is just a solid fill. I have my color information and right now it's set to a white overflood, right? Now, what I'm gonna do with this image is I'm gonna come over here to my mode and instead of six colors plus white, I will change it to sandwich mode. And then I can do either three layer or five layer and I can choose my print mode, right? And probably I'll choke my white ink a few pixels, okay? but. 
there we go, right? That's how I would actually set that file to print, all right, is to do it this way. But remember earlier, I had that other image there. So if I, if I look at this on the right-hand side, these thumbnails as the layers uh, that it'll actually print, so it's going to print this, then it'll print the white, then it'll print this one. So if I want to do this so that my top layer uh, is something different, I can click on this and you can see it's highlighted a little with blue. And then if I click on this icon, the top one right here, this allows me to swap out that image. This is really cool. It automatically chooses the items that are compatible with sandwich mode, right? The important thing here is to make sure that the sizes match perfectly. Um, if it's if it's off at all, it will not allow you to do it. And you can see that size mismatch. That's why these are not compatible with sandwich mode down here because there's a size mismatch, right? So I can choose my sandwich video and hit OK. And now it's swapped in those two images. And now I see that I didn't crop them properly when I when I set up the uh, the the graphics. They're off a little bit, but conceptually it's there for you. All right. But that's how I would do it, right? So I would print, you know, it would print this one, then it would print this, then it would print that. And if I'm doing this as a second surface, which means I'm looking at it through the uh, the plastic, through whatever this material is, when it's front lit, I would just see this image right here. And then I would get that extra hit of color, that, that additional color, uh, and also moving a little towards sunset um, when I when I backlight it. So at that point, I can hit save, and you can see now that this is set up as a sandwich mode, right? I can bring that over and go ahead and print it and whatnot. So there you have it, uh, really quickly, or as quickly as I can ever do anything. That is your sandwich mode, how you actually set up a sandwich mode. As I said, this works every single time, regardless of rip that you're using. If I send it over to the IPS, as an overflood and then change it on the printer itself it's going to work every time so there you go i hope this has been useful to you and as always thanks for your attention and i'll see you again soon